a pretty boy. You know, my younger days. Oh, you mean like uh, Mr. Like Igney? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Igney. Great streamer. <laughs> he a pretty boy. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. I am Mr. Igni, the camp life still to pursue body fat all and nothing bad. Cut no slack. Hope everybody's doing all right. Right about now, word up, word up. Shout out to the creator of heaven and earth. Shout out to camp life, all of my folks and murder gang, the jit crew. Let's continue to do what we do. It's all good, man. Hope everybody's doing fantastic right about now. And this is the third and final installment of the Mr. Ignit review for the good, the bad, the ugly about Cold War, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. And um, this is basically going to be a little bit of everything. But since this is the ugly, I'm going to go over what I think really needs to be uh, changed toward the end of the alpha life cycle. Skill-based matchmaking definitely jumped in. Now, a lot of folks, hey, Mr. Ignit, a lot of folks like to troll and t start talking about skill-based matchmaking. Yeah, it's been in a lot of games, and, and they match up lobbies with the sweatiest folks that are similar to your gameplay style techniques. But it is what it is. You got to change shit in the sugar. I'm sick and tired of people using that as an excuse. I never let skill-based matchmaking stop me from grinding and growing my channel and growing my community. I just feel that a lot of people use that as an excuse. Well, when the rubber meets the road, because if you're really about your hog killing, it doesn't matter what type of situation, especially in a Call of Duty game, you're going to find a way to like it and grind it and do your damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Just like when Modern Warfare... Alpha and Beta came out. I was still really in love with the 2v2. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to grind this. I'm going to find something out of it that I like. And I'm going to keep on going forward with it. And obviously, you know, being the still the gun game most uploaded number one spots. And being the gunfight most uploaded number one spots on YouTube. I definitely parlayed that into something that's enjoyable. At least to some people, word up, word up. A lot of folks don't like it. I understand perfectly. A lot of folks are just grind war zone. You, baby. Hey, you do you. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, basically, the good, the bad, the ugly, the good. I like the maps when it came to the mini map. But other than that, the map, most maps are crap. Now, this is... Miami. I like this map in particular. This happens to be my favorite map because I'm an 80s baby. And when I go around um, Miami, I like to see the, the car vets and the old school, you know, the old school convertibles and, you know, just the old school vibe. Because this looks just like similar to the BO1, all of the, uh, y'all remember Castro's golf course? type situation for the Cuban uh, golf course map. I like that. And check this out. I mean, it's not really, really fancy, but it's very, very nostalgic. And that mini map, especially like in this particular game, I use Tracker. Tracker is going to be a must. Word up, word up. The mini map's great, but on a regular basis, uh, you know, it really makes me want to run around. And that's another part. Of this, you don't really see me doing a whole bunch of camping. I'm running and gunning like I used to. I became a kamikaze rusher from the jump start. As soon as this alpha came out, y'all know y'all boy can rush around. It's not just about you know getting in a, a certain spot and just getting in a corner and shooting somebody. Your boy has some running around skills. If anybody has ever seen me stream and play gun game, I get kind of animated on it. It is what it is. Word up, word up. So, when I started playing this game, I 
I originally was going to be like, you know, I'm going to test out this, I'm going to test out that. This game is actually going to change me into a rusher. And a lot of folks figure that everybody's camping in this game and blah, blah, blah. It's going to be just like Modern Warfare. I don't really think so. I think more folks are going to be running around similar to BO4, but they're always going to be campers. There's always going to be rushes. It is what it is. But if y'all notice, I actually get into all of my streaks by running around. Word up, word up. And I'd say the bad, the bad is that satellite map couldn't stand it. The bad is that ground war map couldn't stand it. The bad is that Navy map couldn't stand it. This is the only map that I really, really, really like now. The Russian map is it was okay. It was all right. It's, it's decent, but everybody camps in that bank. Word up, word up. This is one of my better game plays. I took the rest of them and shit canned them because I, you know, I just didn't really drag the footage out. And like I said before, your boy got a career and this, that, this. I didn't get to play as much as I wanted to on that Friday because I was basically, you know, life comes at you fast, and I really didn't have the time. Like, look at that Corvette. Look at that gray vet. That was boss style. I mean, it is what it is. Look at the old school trucks. And I really like the feel of this uh, Miami style. It really looks like, to me, BO4 and BO1 had a baby. It is what it is. But um, y'all be sure to let everybody know that, hey, look, the controls are still, in my opinion, the best aspect of the game. The mini-map is still the best aspects of the game. It makes you want to run around. The slide is OP. But the map's uh, a little bit to be desired. The guns the guns are decent. It's just that when they add different gun varieties, you know there's going to be buffs. You know there's going to be nerfs. There's going to be more snipers. There's going to be more microtransactions, this, that, this. Uh, I still give this game alpha-wise a 93-ish. A 93 overall, because it makes me want to run around, word up, word up. Even being a part of the camping community with this style of requisition systems that we could basically, you know, if you're really about your hog killing, you're going to be getting into your streaks. Now, a lot of folks say, it's going to be hard to be camping. Look, where there's a will, there's a way. There's always going to be folks camping their ass off, whether folks like it or not. It's just that a lot of folks really like to come plain and talk shit it is what it is i think that folks that they do nothing but complain all the time especially in call of duty yes it can be quite lucrative but it can also be kind of redundant and uh basically i'm not going to be complaining a whole damn year life cycle of a call of duty a hey, grind it get over it or shut the hell up because a lot of folks, you know, a lot of folks are probably going to be starting careers, YouTube side hustles, or should I say, out of this game because it makes you want to run around and this, that, this, and it's supposed to be bringing back theory to mode. So all in all, the good, the bad, yes, there's some good, there's some bad, there's some ugly, but there is hope for this game. What they first, if what would I do to change it? I would bring back a lot of the BO1 maps, just bring those back. If they have an old school classic map mode, it would be perfect. Don't be adding all of these new weird old maps. Take some of the DLC maps from one, BO1, and mix them in there. Bring bring a classic map uh, lobby. Word up, word up. That If I could change anything, a classic map lobby. And we haven't even talked about zombies yet. And I know there's going to be a battle royale, and a lot of folks are already playing with themselves, thinking about battle royale. I'm thinking about zombies. I'm thinking about TDM. I'm thinking about domination. I'm thinking about kill confirmed. Word up, word up. I'm not really concerned about the battle royale. That's going to fix itself because the little kids and the man children love it. It is what it is. So all in all, I think I'm going to be able to grow my channel and my community a little bit more. With this game, I'm not going to crap on it all damn day long and drag it out. Oh, the Call of Duty is doomed. Look, life is what you make it and card is what you make it. You know what I mean? Take shit and change it into sugar. Do what you got to do. But all of that steady complaining is making a lot of folks really look soft nowadays.
it is what it is. And look, Mr. Igni getting to his streaks again. It's all good. But um, I really liked the aspect of uh, running around and taking care of business in this game. And uh, it's definitely going to get me more impromptu running around. So y'all be sure to check that out later on down the line. I don't know if I'm going to pre-order it already because I'm still up in the air. Your boy, he is quite busy. And shout out to the folks that, hey, Mr. Igni, where's the live streams? It is what it is. I'll do it whenever I have a chance. Best believe me, every single day um, when I'm going around doing my daily business, I'm definitely thinking about the folks that really support me and ain't talking out their ass. But um, I really, really, really appreciate each and every one of y'all. And watch my video all the way through. And um, give me some support on my live streams, all of my whales, all those folks from Camp Life, all my folks from Legit Crew, all my folks from Murder Gang. Let's continue to do what we do. And I hope y'all have a good morning, evening, night, whatever the case may be. Um... I'm definitely thinking that this game, it has the potential to be one of the greater uh, Call of Duties within the last four years, but I have to see a little bit more before I'd say that this game can, Call of Duty can be great again in this game. Word up, word up. I have to see zombies. I have to see this Battle Royale bullshit. I have to see... What they're going to do about the weapons balances, because I'm hearing a lot of these bigger YouTubers are complaining about the requisition systems and this, that, this, and it is what it is. Are the operators going to stay manly or are they going to bring some fruity stuff in the, out of nowhere? Who knows? But this game, this game definitely has potential because I really miss like seeing, you know, and hearing from Ice Cube and all of those stars that were on the uh, the BO1 game, especially in Zombies with Treyo and all of the other uh, situations they had, the moon map, Nuketown. I'm really, they really have the potential to make COD somewhat great again, but we'll see what they actually do. Because sometimes, uh, y'all remember, they said BO4 is going to be the most updated game of all time and blah, 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 and the servers, what happened? After about a good six months, they just, hey, look, we're, they put all, all of their effort into the Battle Royale. They crapped on zombies. They crapped on multiplayer. They were just trying to get a little bit of that Fortnite fame. It is what it is. That's my opinion. That's the good, the bad, the ugly. From Mr. Ignat's uh, point of view for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Y'all be sure to check out your daily uploads whenever I get a chance to upload them. Be sure to check me out on Twitter. Check me out on Twitch. Check me out on Twitter at Mr. Ignit and at Mr. Ignit One. Word up. Shout out to the channel members, the Super Chatters, the Whales. And what's the verdict, Mr. Ignit? Number one spot, 24 and 4, 6 KD. Not too good, not too bad, Mr. Ignit. Number one spot, nevertheless. And uh, I think it's going to be a good year, man. I think I'm going to be a, a rusher this year. Word up, word up. But I think it's it's pretty much a done deal, but we shall see. And I hope y'all are having a good day, good night, good afternoon, morning, what have you. I am Mr. Ignit. I love y'all. Take care. Be safe. One love, baby. And I am out. See y'all in the gym. Later. Do you have that four-legged friend that you just love and also you love Mr. Ignit on YouTube? Well, it seems to me that you may enjoy the Mr. Ignit logo dog bandana, which is now available at shop.spreadshirt.com backslash Mr. Ignit.